Let's talk about anger. <laughs> anger. So we know what, um, what it is, if you've ever felt angry, I'm sure you have. Um, it is a very powerful thing, isn't it? That emotion. It is a, a system whereby your sympathetic nervous system, which runs down your spine, will pump your body with the right chemicals to get you to move, to get you to act, to get you to do. It doesn't know the why. <laughs> why you feel like it doesn't care. This is subconscious. This is just a chemical being pumped into your system. Anger. We have to take responsibility for that anger. We have to be responsible for our own emotions um, rather than, well, he caused me to be. They did this to me, so I did that element, the victim element. So if a child is struggling at playtime and they're acting out and they're angry and they're hitting, whatever it might be, that anger. We have to see that is their body, their subconscious body has pumped chemicals into it subconsciously, <laughs> no choice, for them to feel that. So we have to look at it like that, first of all, okay? So child in front of you has just been brought over. Let's say you're the teacher on duty at break time. Child has been brought up to you because they've just hit another child. You're like, okay, right. We have to look and think, why has that child's nervous system responded this way? Why has it felt unsafe? Not, okay, you need to go and stand by the wall for the rest of break time. Then you need to come back and you need to apologize and, 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 okay? This is everything, right? You need to look and think, right, why? Why has their body done that? And then enable them to process and get rid of that adrenaline that's in their system right now. Because if you don't, and you pick them up and you put them by the wall, like, go and stand there. Have they processed? Have they, their nervous system, has it processed that experience that they've just had? Whereby their subconscious body, their subconscious mind has felt unsafe. Maybe they weren't able to communicate properly. Maybe there's a language barrier there. Maybe it's a sensory overwhelms and the noise from the other person triggered their nervous system. Maybe, 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 I don't know. If that child that stood by the wall now isn't able to process the adrenaline that's in their system, they are going to connect, they're gonna wire in the situation into their brain. This feeling of shame, of rejection, of not being heard of those things that have happened and they're gonna wire it in. And it's gonna be part of who they are because this is gonna be wired in over time, isn't it? This isn't gonna be the only time they're gonna react like that because they haven't finished the processing part. So the next time it's break time and the same experience happens again where the child sensory overwhelm or not been heard, whatever, what do you think is gonna happen? Their memory is gonna bring them right back to that time. Cause you need to do it again. <laughs> Cause you were, sa you were safe, weren't you? You're gonna do it all again. So they do it all again. And they hit out and teacher picks them up and puts them by the wall. And they just go through this loop, this loop, this cycle. Teachers, I don't understand. I keep saying to them, stop doing that. Just don't listen to me. I don't understand. No, I keep taking play times away from them. I don't understand why they don't do what they're told. I don't understand. 
Right, let's look at it from another viewpoint. Let's look at it that they are being pumped with adrenaline, their subconscious body, their emotions feel unsafe. Right, so don't shame them and put them in a corner because that's not going to solve the cycle. It's not going to help the child's nervous system to feel safe, is it? So look again and think, right, how am I gonna help this child's nervous system feel safe? First of all, get them to process that adrenaline out of their body, okay? So that might be a bit of a run, a bit of a jog, a bit of an up and down, getting the boxing gloves out, whatever it might be, I don't know how angry they are. You're, you're the one in front of them. How much anger is there? This isn't anger, this is adrenaline. This isn't behavior. This is feeling unsafe on a subconscious level. So now, now they are able to process they are able to release and let go what's stored there, right? So that's the first thing, isn't that healthy? Let's imagine you went to work, <laughs> you got into an argument and you felt really, really angry and you weren't able to process it. What's that gonna happen? What's gonna happen? You're gonna go home and yeah. It comes out in the end, doesn't it? So, You've helped that child to process it within their body. Then you look and think, right, now I've enabled their body to release and let go the adrenaline and cortisol that was within them. We've achieved that great pat on the back for you. Okay. Then look and think what happened for that child's nervous system to feel unsafe. Is it sensory overwhelm? Is it language barriers that they weren't able to communicate their need? Is it social skills? What is it? What is it? Find the barrier, find the skill, find what's lacking, find what can be built. And that's breaking the cycle breaking this cycle, this pattern. You don't, you don't sanction the child, have consequences in place because that doesn't teach their nervous system what it's like to feel safe. It doesn't allow them to learn, it doesn't allow them to know what to do when. If I am not able to communicate my need, I do this, this and this because I've been taught that. So next time I'm on the playground and I'm unable to communicate my need, I'm gonna go, ah, I know what to do. I know what to do. There is always a reason. There's always a reason. And we have to see this as a subconscious response to fear overwhelm within the nervous system. We can't control old fashioned type systems because it won't work. It won't work. They'll just go through and they'll just repeat the pattern every year at school and it will get harder and harder and harder because they haven't been taught the skills, they haven't been able to process, and they're just gonna oh, lock it all in, aren't they? Society's told me I am unable to express this emotion, so I am gonna suppress it and I'm gonna hold it down. And then when I get home, I'm gonna go crazy with my emotional overwhelm because I feel safe there and oh, yes, and that feels better. That doesn't teach them a healthy way of processing at the time that it happens. It just teaches them that they don't feel safe subconsciously in that environment that it happened. 
in that playground subconsciously you are not safe in playgrounds so as soon as you go into the playground you haven't even stepped foot in the playground what's going to happen to you subconsciously <gasps> fear remember the last time you were here <laughs> there's your subconscious body <gasps> Oh, I'm going to get you ready for it. Hasn't even happened. The argument hasn't even happened. The disagreement, the shame by the wall hasn't even happened. But I'm going to pump your body with all the chemicals because I know you need to be prepared. So you already got the chemicals of adrenaline and cortisol and you haven't even stepped your foot in the playground. So now you're on a three. <laughs> I'm on a three. And I feel powerful. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel like, ah. <laughs> and it just needs one little thing. One little thing pushing on me. One little thing. And I will go, ah. Because <laughs> there's only one way. And that's a, a, a four, you know, adrenaline, three. Right, oh, okay. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm going to have to break now. Oh, I'm excited. No, you're not. You're on adrenaline. <laughs> but OK, right. Oh, but now you've, you're not playing the game I want. So what am I going to do? So now I'm angry and frustrated because I've got all this adrenaline inside me and I haven't been able to process it. And I haven't been taught the skills. Please see... See the child through the lens, safe and unsafe and subconscious and conscious. And emotions are all subconscious at that time because it's reactive. And when we're in a calm, balanced, rational state, when we're in our conscious mind that is creative and open, there is no anger. And that's the goal. Take care. Stay safe.